Good morning, dear students. My name is Dr. Shuaib Mohammed Bach. I am working as assistant professor in the Department of English at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, in this video lecture, we shall be discussing about the elements of paragraph writing. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about paragraph writing and introduction to paragraph writing. I have given you and the importance of paragraph writing. I have told you. That I also told you why do we write paragraphs. Now in this lecture we shall be discussing about the elements of paragraph writing. What are the different elements which are required for paragraph writing, which we need for writing a paragraph. Let's see. Let's go with the introduction first. So paragraph writing is a fundamental skill that forms the backbone of effective communication. When we talk about paragraph writing, paragraph writing uh, see, before we uh, delve, before we discuss the elements of paragraph writing, you need to just remind one thing that is all these forms of writings, whether it is paragraph writing, it's letter writing, it's report writing, it's email writing, it's notice writing, all these forms of writings, we use them for effective communication. Because when we are writing a paragraph on any topic, any issue, any change, any idea, any feeling, any emotion. So we are conveying that emotion, that idea to someone else. So that is a way of, that is a way of communicating with others. We do not communicate with others only with the word of mouth. Rather, we communicate with other people with the form of writing also. Sometimes we communicate with others with the help of letters. With the help of emails, we communicate our ideas, our feelings to other people with the help of letters, with the help of emails, with the help of reports, with the help of memoir, with the help of these paragraphs. So that's why we are, that's why we believe that paragraph writing, it is a fundamental skill. It's a skill, a very fundamental skill that forms the backbone of effective communication. It's like the backbone of effective communication. So when you communicate to the people, you have different forms of communication. If it is a written communication, you have different forms of writing. As I counted in front of you, we have letters, we have emails, we have messages, we have reports, we have memoir. So among all these paragraph writing, it forms one of the important or it forms, it forms a very, it forms a fundamental skill when it comes to effective communication. Whether you are crafting an essay, sharing ideas or conveying information, understanding the essential elements of paragraph is crucial. Now, whether you are writing an essay, whatever, whatever the form of communication for written communication you are using, that's secondary thing. But when it comes to paragraph, there is a different criteria for paragraph writing. As I discussed that criteria to you people in advance, I told you earlier about paragraph writing. I told you why is paragraph called a paragraph? How is paragraph writing different from essay? How is paragraph writing different from letters, different from other forms or different from report? So it has its own structure. It has its own, own design. It has its own, uh, uh, own body, own skeleton. It has its own different parts, which is quite, which makes it quite different from other forms of writing. So now when we talk about, uh, about paragraph writing, we see, it's very essential to understand the different elements which we require to write a paragraph. There are different elements which we require to write a paragraph. Now, in this lecture, we will break down the key components that make up a well-structured paragraph. We will break down all those points. Or, I mean, we shall be talking about individually all those elements which forms a well-structured paragraph. Now, all the ingredients all the components, all the elements which we require for a good paragraph, which we require for a well-structured paragraph, we shall be talking about all those components in this lecture today. From the opening topic sentence to supporting details and a concise conclusion, each element plays a vital role in creating clear and impactful writing. 
from the very beginning from the topic sentence to the uh, detailed structure or to the de to the supporting details to the and and a concise conclusion each element of the paragraph it plays a vital role in conveying a clear and impactful message so every element of the paragraph writing it plays a vital role it's not like topic sentence is less uh, uh, less required rather than supporting details or it is not like topic sentence is superior than all other elements in the paragraph writing no all the elements they are having they are sharing an equal part they are they are important they all are important for the construction of a good paragraph good writing clear and impactful writing now understanding the key elements of paragraph writing is like to mastering the art of constructing a well crafted narrative mastering or under, understanding the key elements of paragraph writing if you understand the key elements of paragraph writing or understanding of these key elements of paragraph writing it is like to master the art of constructing a well crafted narrative a person who knows who understands how to use or how to use these key elements of a paragraph writing imagine he has mastered the the art of well crafted the art to craft a well narrative a good narrative a person can write write impactful can write effective uh, effective write ups if he knows or if he understands the key elements of paragraph writing now let's uh, delve into the basics of paragraph writing and discover how these elements work together to convey uh, your message with precision and coherence let's delve deep let's find out how these elements are working in a paragraph and how these elements are making a writing stuff very good and very informative let's check in this uh, in the upcoming slides we have the first thing that is much required for paragraph writing that comes under the elements of paragraph writing it is topic sentence see if it when we talk about paragraph writing you need to just keep this thing in your mind it's different from essay it is different from letter it is different from report it is different from memoir it is different from any composition it is different let's take an example of essay when we are writing essays we divide essays in different paragraphs like we give a separate paragraph for introduction then we divide body in three four paragraphs then we also write a different conclusion a single paragraph of conclusion so there we have the liberty to extend to stretch the content to divide the content in different paragraphs but here when we talk about paragraph writing the scene is quite different we cannot here divide the paragraph in different paragraphs no paragraph writing means to write a single paragraph and at the same time it should have introduction it should have body it should have conclusion now see it's a little bit complex and difficult because you have to provide a, a, an introduction but you cannot divide it you cannot sorry you cannot separate it from the main body or from the main paragraph so that's why we have here in paragraph writing we do not have a separate paragraph for introduction rather we have an introductory sentence or we have a topic sentence your topic sentence is the introduction to the paragraph and it cannot be separated from the rest of the paragraph no it has to be there with the paragraph so topic sentence is an introduction let's see what topic sentence can give us or what topic sentence is the topic sentence is the foundational sentence of a paragraph it introduces the main idea or point that the paragraph will discuss now topic sentence it introduces it is the foundational sentence when i talk about foundational sentence you should understand that the whole paragraph is constructed on this foundation so this is the basement this is the base 
this this is the this is the uh, this is the structure this is the this is the structure on which you are constructing a paragraph so it is the bedrock for a paragraph so now topic sentence is the foundational sentence of a paragraph it is that sentence on which you are building on which you are constructing a paragraph it introduces the main idea or point that the paragraph will discuss now one more example i, I would I, I would again uh, like to quote essay writing in the essay what we used to do we are writing introduction in a single paragraph a long paragraph of one page or half page we just we devote that for introduction but here the case is different you have to write introduction in a single sentence and you cannot talk about the side you cannot talk about some some extra things when you are writing a paragraph and you are writing a topic sentence it must align to your title you are not having the liberty to give some extra information as we give in the essay writing in essay writing when we are discussing about uh, when we are giving writing introduction we sometimes include some extra information in order to make our introduction more impressive and more attractive but here the case is different you cannot do that what you can do your topic sentence it must uh, your topic sentence must directly begin uh, it must directly just align with the uh, it must directly start uh, start with the topic the given heading which you have given there so you cannot just start it like anyway it has to be uh, in connection it has to remain in connection with your topic sentence it introduces the main idea or main point that the paragraph will discuss so it is this topic sentence which directly introduces the main idea which you are going to discuss in the which you are going to discuss in the whole uh, in the whole paragraph so there is no extra information it directly starts with the it directly starts with the topic sentence then it is usually located at the beginning of the paragraph to provide a clear and concise focus for the reader where can you find this topic sentence it's usually located at the beginning of the paragraph obviously when it is an introduction introduction comes at the top it introduction uh, stands at the beginning you can find the introduction of anything any any write up at the beginning so this topic sentence it is usually located at the beginning of the paragraph and it provides a clear and concise focus for the reader it provides a clear and concise focus for the reader a reader does not have to go with some other sentences in order to understand the main idea of the topic so a reader can easily get the main topic a reader can easily understand the main understand the whole thrust of uh, thrust of the paragraph while reading only the only the topic sentence so this is the beauty of topic sentence and these are the features of topic sentence it starts it directly introduces the main idea it talks about the main idea which you are going to discuss in the paragraph and it it's it, its focus is concise for the reader it's clear and concise it's not a complex sentence it's a simple sentence where you simply introduce the main idea where you simply introduce the the idea on which you are writing the paragraph so that the reader can easily assess what you are what you are just going to going going to show him in the in the in the in the rest of the paragraph then a strong topic sentence is specific and directly relates to the overall theme or thesis of the essay or document as i told you a strong topic sentence is specific it directly relates to the overall theme it is specific it relates to the overall theme or thesis of the essay or document it is specific it's not elaborate to it's it, it does not talk about some extra information it is specific it's particular it talks about the title it talks about the main theme which you are going to discuss there 
and directly relates to the overall theme or thesis of the essay or document. It directly relates, it has its relation, it remains in touch, it stays attuned with the overall theme, the overall theme which you are going to discuss in the paragraph and thesis of the essay or document. So whatever you are writing, it introduces the main idea of that document, of that written text. So this is what topic sentence is, the first element. Then the second thing is supporting details. Now what are these supporting details? Supporting details are sentences that follow the topic sentence and provide further information explanation, examples or evidence to support the main idea. Supporting details, these are sentences that follow the topic sentences, uh, sentence and provide further information. Now supporting details, they form the body of the paragraph. These details, they come after the topic sentence and they provide further information, explanation, examples, evidence to support the main idea. Now see, when you are writing a paragraph, you have a topic sentence that introduces your topic, that talks about the introduction of your topic, that talks about the, about the main idea or main theme which you are going to discuss in the paragraph. Now you need some other details. You need explanation, you need examples, you need evidence, you need data, you need statistics. You need different things by which you can support the main idea which you have raised in the topic sentence. So all those details are called supporting details. Supporting details, they, they justify the topic sentence. They elaborate the claim which you raised in the topic sentence. They define and summarize the things which are there in the topic sentence. They provide an explanation a detailed explanation of the idea which you have introduced in the topic sentence. So this idea is being explained, is being described and narrated in the narrated in this portion in the body of the paragraph with the help of with the help of examples, with the help of evidence, with the help of data, with the help of some other details. These details they help to develop and flesh out the central message of the paragraph, making it more convincing and informative. See, your topic sentence is not enough to understand the main idea which you are discussing. You cannot discuss an idea in a single sentence. It is obviously difficult to just, uh, just define an idea uh, in a single sentence. It is difficult. So you cannot define a single idea in a single sentence. So for that, in order to define that idea, you need supporting details. So these supporting details, they help you to develop and flesh out the central message. You can make that central message evident, bright, vibrant, visible for the readers with the help of supporting details. So your, your, your readers can find the main idea on which you are writing a paragraph with the help of supporting details. So your supporting details, they make your claim. They make that idea which you are going to discuss with the people, they make it more convincing and informative. Obviously, when you provide supporting details, people can easily understand you. It's not like you are speaking a single ambiguous sentence. That may not be understood by the common masses. But when you give some evidences, when you give some examples, when you give some supporting details, your audience can easily understand you. Your listeners can, your readers can easily understand you. So that's why these supporting details, they make your claim, they make your idea more convincing and more informative. Then, the supporting details should be relevant, coherent and logically connected to the topic sentence. This is one of the important rules of paragraph writing. When you are writing a paragraph, you need to follow the logical order and coherence. C-O-H-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E -E. One of the important features of paragraph writing. One of the important features. It's not like your sentences, they are randomly chosen, they are randomly put together there. No, 
that cannot make a sense, that cannot make a good, good paragraph, that cannot give us the feeling of a good paragraph if your sen sentence structure, if, the, if your choice of sentences is random. No. Your sentence selection, it must be proper. It must follow a coherence. It must follow a sequence. It must follow an order. So that's why I'm telling you the supporting details, they should be relevant, they should be coherent, and they should be logically connected. What does this logically connected mean? Means the idea should flow from the topic sentence and it should conclude. It should submerge in the conclusion. So the claim which you raised in the topic sentence, your supporting details, they should justify that claim. And the justification should end up, it should sum up in the conclusion. So that's logical connection with the topic sentence. So this is what do I mean by supporting details. So supporting details are important for uh, paragraph writing because when you are writing supporting details, it is with the supporting details you are making your paragraph, uh, effective paragraph. It is because of your supporting details, your readers can find your paragraph worth to read, easy to read. Then, unity. Third point which I want to discuss with you among the elements of paragraph writing, that is unity. Now, what is unity? Unity in a paragraph, it means that every sentence contributes to the development of main idea stated in the topic sentence. Every sentence which you are writing. See, I told you paragraph writing is quite different from essay writing. When you are writing an essay, you have the liberty to quote extra examples, to quote some extra material in order to make your message more graphic, more vivid, more attractive, more informative for the readers. But when you are writing a paragraph, you do not have that liberty. Paragraph means a single paragraph. And the genuine length of a paragraph is half of a page. So you are summing up all the idea in half of a page. That means around 9 to 10 lines. So in 10 lines, you are summing up, you are just writing, you are giving us an idea. So it's, it requires an art, it requires a skill. To sum up an idea only in 9 to 10 lines. So that's why we see in paragraph we do not find any redundant material. There is not any extra information. There is not any extra sentence. All the sentences which you have chosen for your paragraph writing, they should follow a unity. They should contribute to the development of the main idea which you stated in the topic sentence. That means all the sentences should follow topic sentence. No sentence can be included which does not follow the topic sentence. No sentence. So when you are choosing all those sentences which are following the topic sentence, that means there is unity in your paragraph. So unity is must. It's one of the main features of paragraph writing. You need to develop that unity. You need to bring unity in your sentences. You can bring unity to the paragraph when you choose all relevant sentences, all, all, only those sentences which are faithful to the claim which you raised in the topic sentences. Or I can simply say your sentences, your supporting details should follow the topic sentence. When they follow the topic sentences, obviously that will bring unity to the, to the paragraph. Then, all the sentences should work together harmoniously, avoiding the introduction of unrelated or off-topic information. Now, what is this? What is the, what is the use of this? Uh, how can you bring unity to the to the paragraph? As I told you, all the sentences they should work together harmoniously. They should work together in harmony. It's not like your sentences that are sometimes, sometimes dealing with some other claim and the sentence is dealing with some another claim. No, that's not the good way. That's not the right way to bring, uh, to bring harmony, to bring this, to bring, sorry, unity in, to, to your paragraph. So we should avoid the intro, avoiding the introduction of unrelated or off topic information. We cannot bring off topic information or unrelated information to the paragraph writing. Unity ensures that paragraph maintains a focus and does not become disjointed. When you bring unity, when you talk about unity, when you are striving for the unity 
uh, of your, in your paragraph writing. This unity will ensure, it will maintain by bringing unity to your paragraph, you can bring focus and your paragraph will not be disjointed. Your paragraph will not be disjointed. There will be a connection, there will be a coherence, there will be a logical order. So your paragraph cannot fell in parts it will be a it will be a it will be a, 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 a it will be a means a good structure it will be a complete paragraph there will be nothing redundant nothing extra only the important informations will be there then coherence now what is coherence another important point which you need to know about the elements of paragraph writing that is coherence Coherence is the logical and orderly connection between sentences in a paragraph. It is a logical and orderly connection between sentences in a paragraph. As I told you, I was discussing before the previous slide, paragraph is only a paragraph when it follows the coherence, when it follows the logical order. So a paragraph cannot be a paragraph if it does not follow the logical and orderly, if, does not if it does not have an orderly connection. All the sentences, they should follow a connection, a logical and orderly connection. So coherence is important point in paragraph writing. Then transitions between ideas should be smooth, with each sentence naturally flowing from one before it. Transitions between ideas. Obviously, when you are finishing a sentence and idea, you are picking up another idea another example so there is a transition from one example to another one idea to another this transition there should be it should be smooth there should be a connection between both the transitions your transition should not be like uh, earlier you it should not give the feeling to the reader that there is some there is some some disjoint is there coherence is not there some randomly picked example is there no it should give the I, it should give the feeling of coherence to the reader. So that's why I'm telling you the transition should be smooth. With each sentence naturally flowing, uh, flowing from the one before it, there should be a flow in between the sentences. The sentence should follow the preceding sentence, the preceded sentence, or the previous sentence should, should give a good space for the succeeding sentence so that they both can maintain a logical order. Now, maintaining a consistent focus and using clear and logical progression aids in achieving coherence. If you maintain a consistent focus, consistent focus in your paragraph, and if you use clear logical progression in your paragraph, it will help you to achieve coherence. Then, Transitions. Now, what is a transition? I told you. Transition words and phrases, they help guide reader from one idea to next, providing a smooth flow between sentences and paragraphs. There are transitions when you switch from one example to another, one word to another, one phrase to another, one idea to another. So this transition, it should be smooth and it should guide your reader that he or she is transited from one idea, making transition from one idea to another idea. So smooth transition should be there. It should provide smooth flow between sentences and paragraphs in the paragraph. Now examples of transitions include, we are using the words like however, in addition, furthermore, consequently, if we choose such words, words like these words for the transitions, these words, they bring that smoothness smooth flow to the sentence, to the paragraph. Effective use of transitions enhances the overall clarity and coherence of the writing. Now, effective use of transitions, if we use the effective transitions, it will enhance the overall clarity and coherence of the writing. It will bring us overall clarity and coherence of writing if we choose effective transitions. Concluding sentence. One more important thing in the paragraph writing is concluding sentence. Concluding sentence wraps up the paragraph by summarizing the main point or recitating the topic sentence in a different way. So concluding sentence, it wraps up, it winds up, it concludes, it closes the paragraph. 
by summarizing the main point or recitating the topic sentence in a different way. So your topic sentence, it sums up, it summarizes the main idea or it recites the topic sentence or it answers a claim which you raised in the topic sentence in a different way. So again, it's one of the important sentences. It's not like essay writing where you have a well full-fledged paragraph for conclusion. So there is nothing like that. We have a single sentence. We have a single, uh, we have a single sentence only. We have a single sentence only here that talks about the paragraph, right? That, that concludes the whole paragraph. So there is nothing like, uh, like a full fledged, fledged paragraph for conclusion. We have a single sentence there that concludes the whole paragraph. It also provides closure and it prepares the reader for the next paragraph or section. So what we see, the concluding sentence, it provides closure. It provides that conclusion and it prepares the reader for next paragraph or next section. It's your concluding sentence which gives, uh, which gives a kind of provision to the reader for the next paragraph and next section. That means it completes the whole paragraph. A well-crafted concluding sentence reinforces the paragraph's main idea and leaves a lasting impression. So a well-crafted concluding sentence, it strengthens the paragraph's main idea and it leaves a lasting impression. It leaves, it strengthens paragraph's main idea and it leaves a lasting impression. Then, now variety in sentence structure is another important point which you need to know. Variety in sentence structure. Using a variety of sentence structures, it adds uh, interest and sophistication to your writing. If you use a variety of sentence structure, it adds interest and it adds sophistication to your writing. You will see your writing is in interesting writing and sophisticated writing. Mix simple compound and complex sentences to avoid monotony and create a more engaging reading experience. If you mix, if you do not only use simple sentences or compound or complex, no. When you use the mixture of these sentences, so it will avoid that dullness that monotonous nature of your paragraph and it will make your paragraph more engaging. It will give you a more engaging reading experience. And be mindful of sentence length and rhythm to maintain a dynamic and en engaging writing skill style. It's always important to be mindful of length and rhythm of the sentences so that we can maintain a dynamic and engaging writing style. Next point is clarity. Clarity is crucial for effective communication. A paragraph writer should use clear, concise language to convey his or her ideas without unnecessary complexity. So one more important point is clarity. It's very crucial for effective communication. We should always use clear and concise language so that we can, we can, we can write only relevant information without unnecessary complexity. Avoid ambiguity and ensure that your writing can be easily understood by your target audience. It's always better to avoid ambiguous sentences, ambiguity, so that our target audience, so that our target readers, they can easily understand what we have written in the paragraph. Then we have focus. Each paragraph should have a clear focus on a specific aspect of the overall thesis. Every, every sentence which we are writing in the paragraph, it should have a clear focus. We should avoid introducing multiple unrelated ideas within a single paragraph. Unrelated ideas we should avoid when we are writing a paragraph because it will confuse and dilute the paragraph's impact. And we should always be, uh, be aware of the length of paragraph writing. It should not excessive. It should not, it should not be the, ex the length should not be excessive. Because when we are writing a paragraph, it's only a single paragraph. There should be relevance and precision. Everything should be relevant according to the, according to the central idea and everything should align to the central idea and central theme. And all the things which we are writing in the paragraph, they should be precise and specific. No extra information should be there. And your, our paragraph, it should provide a thorough explanation of all the main ideas 
and we should also keep in mind the needs and background of the audience then only we can tailor then only we can write a good paragraph so we should we can always use descriptive and image, imagery in our paragraph in order to make it more vivid and more graphic for our audience and diction and vocabulary means we should choose words carefully we should use the vocabulary which can be easily understood by our audience by our readers so in conclusion i must say paragraph writing is incomplete if we do not have the knowledge about the different elements of paragraph writing paragraph writing can be an effective mode of communication if we put the good use of all the elements which we require in order to form a paragraph so i would like to stop here if you want some extra information you can choose the consult these sources so this is all for today thank you thank you for listening like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates